Yeah. Well, uh, what type? You need to. I'll send. I'll send you links to my exhibition in Westport, yeah. and I had one in Liverpool. So I've, I've done two exhibitions: one in Westport, one in Liverpool. Sorry, yeah. yeah I'm, and, like, I'm, uh, I'm very interested in in art as well because I I do art myself. Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll take a break, maybe in an hour or two. Yeah. I'll just make sure my kids are still alive. Yeah. Uh, we'll go for coffee or something, alright? Yeah, that's perfect. Great. Perfect. Chat to you later. Would you be here, yeah? Huh? Would you be here? Yeah. If you want to get ahead, Sorry. if you want to get ahead, no. Gone. that's sad. Yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. The last uh, reenactment I went to was in Boyle in, fifth, in, in 1998 oh, right, when yeah. they were celebrating the Battle of the Curlews. Oh, yes, 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 and yes. Again, yes. it was a bit like this. It could yeah. even be the same reenactors, but not the French. And they had outside one of the pubs there, they had um, the English Clifford, I think was the name of the Lord. And right. And sat outside the pub, and it looked like a guy, you know. And somebody put a notice on it, would you put a head on that? Because <laughs> <laughs> apparently they, they chopped his head off when they caught him. Yeah. yeah. But there's, there's not many English here today, is there? Like, there's some English soldiers here. Yeah. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. But they're Irish. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're from me, they're just... But one of them actually said that 47% of the English forces were actually, were actually Irish. Irish yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. But, yeah. but there's no difference. Same, 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 same thing, same yeah. Thing. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? The whole yeah. thing? Something. Isn't it impressive? Yeah. Like, at one point have yesterday... You at, have you been at other... No, elements of the I've been to one of these. Right, right. Yeah, you tell me there. Yeah. yeah, okay. And that was like 12 years ago. This is my second reenactment. I know, this is the first time I've seen, seen this actually being put on here. Like. Yeah, it's good. You know, it's good. It's very good. Very the location certainly is a major. Location one. makes it. Like, yeah, I was going to yeah. say, yesterday I'm walking by here, there was many car park. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was a car park. Yeah. I look at it now. <laughs> it's three fours. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Here's the volunteers. <laughs> but, but I think like a lot of things though, maybe, was it Irish versus English? No, 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 I don't think it was. It never is. The people get on. And people, people, people individual people between Ireland and England have always gone backwards and forwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the problem's always been with the bloody politicians the politician. and the governments. Yeah. And what's the, difference, what's the difference today? Same. Same, Careful yeah, now. same Careful. yeah. This is quite nice, isn't it? Well, this is just fantastic. Hello. I like that. It's lovely. I that. That's Willow. You made that? Yeah. That's fantastic. It really Up is. Well, so, what are the sticks? These are Willow. Okay. So, we, we, we cut just some of the tops of the Willow. Yeah. We're using that. Cut them off with the pipes. Of course, yeah, yeah. And the and the rushy things. They put them rushy. On top. By right now, that should be scrawled. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because if you got wet weather, the scrawls will hold the rain. Of course, yeah, it's yeah. Like it would. Grass in it, and would and would the willow frame hold the scrawls? That'll be the bother there. Okay. You don't have a centre board. Yeah. Could you explain? Because I've got this camera running. What scrawls actually are? Cut the turf. Put down the ground. We call it. Put up a bit of grass in the square. Yes. We call that a scroll. Right. That's Irish. What would you call that? A sod. You might sod. call it a sod yeah. in English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we there you go. The top of the bog. Yeah. Oh, I, I, oh, I, I, I've, I've cut turf by hand. I know exactly oh. what. I know exactly what scrolls are. <laughs> the worst. The worst job. The worst job is scrawling the scrolls. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, originally from England, but I'm living I'm living in Mayo since uh, 1798. Sorry, 1998. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So you know the bogs, so. I have a bog out in Golfina on there. Oh, right. oh. Well, these are common. We call them bohons. Bohons. And up in the 1950s, I'm in my 70s now. I can remember the school boy. I come from so far, loads of families. Okay. We might have a five acres of rough land. Put four stakes on, you know, four poles, yeah. four roof across, straw on, throw a bit of bushes on it, and the cattle go standing for the winter. And they might close one side, do you know what I mean? So every year you would make one? Or? Well, it might last longer. 
and the up price had lasted a bit longer. But they were called bohans. And that was for the cattle? Yeah, and I said, oh, this, you see, I don't know, in 97 here, I built Spearhead of the Village of three Mio houses. Well, the, the people thought they were famine houses, in actual fact, they were Mio houses. Is this the, one of the ones that went to New York? No. Oh. In fact, the ones that went to New York shouldn't have gone at all, because we built a real, real original. Right. I got a roof above in Foxford, an old roof, a mountain oak, probably 200 years old. We've got the sods, the straws right on them. We put the floor down, the sheep down. Of course, yeah. And when you walk in it over, it sweats, and you get a lovely shine that goes hair like terrazzo. And are these houses still up? No, we just stuck to every one of them. No way. And they're, they're crying out have one built, but it has to be left permanent. Because didn't didn't they didn't they take so so much of an acre of the park and send that to New York or something stick in Central Park? Yeah, they, they, yeah. they did, yeah, yeah, I'm sure, yeah, yeah. But uh, you see, what well, people don't understand in their history, it's all it's in like today's history. In the 1800s, Ireland joined the Act of Union. And the reason they were brought into the Act of Union, they were in the in D.C. Britain wanted taxes for the Act of Napoleon. And that's how you get them. The same as the Russians, the Germans are talking about Ukraine. Politics. Yeah, and you see how it operates. And you see the First World War in Ireland too, you see. You did the Easter Rebellion. The second, yeah, the First World War. People were put tax to the hills. When you tax people, they go for the days of the night. So if you examine politics, you know, you could be flying under the green flag, but there's no rule of taxation. No, you're, no, you're right. You're absolutely right. <coughs> Is, could there be a message there for today's government, do you think? Oh, yeah. Because uh, I certainly think this government, when they came in, said they weren't going to increase income tax. Well, they didn't. No. But they introduced about 25 other taxes that we'd never bloody heard of, including water tax, which would be the latest. Well, uh, don't get me started. But you see, <laughs> the hell, you see Ireland has exposed this flank. Yes. You see, when you get... You see, Germany has a... The most wretched system of taxation ever invented. See, the way you count everything down to the chicken. Everything, I see the same as going on now in Ireland. We have to record everything, the beehive, chickens. The legislation is there. If you have chickens, it's illegal. Horses. I've heard, I've heard this, yeah. I've heard that if you, if you grow stuff, it goes against the GDP and yeah. stuff like that. Listen, nice talking to you. Okay, bye I'll bye chat bye. to you later. So, <laughs> I have to hide it. Oh yeah, hide it, hide it.
entire family of Brazilian supporters. <laughs> That's hilarious. But everyone's in costume like this. <laughs> it's just, that's just so funny.